Hi, it's me again, and for those of you out there who are over 75, the BBC has got even more bad news for you. Let's take a look at this story together. Maybe we'll have a bit of a chat about it. BBC free licence fee transition period for over 75s will end next month, with 260,000 pensioners set to receive letters demanding payment. Some 260,000 pensioners will receive letters asking them to pay the BBC licence fee next month when the transition period ending handouts closes for all over 75s. The universal right to a free TV licence has ended for the age group and only those in receipt of pension credit do not have to pay it. And that is an important point. There's many pensioners out there who receive pension credit who don't know that they can get the licence fee free if they do. So please, if you're in receipt of pension credit, you don't need to worry about this at all. All you've got to do is ring TV licensing, they'll sort it all out for you, all right? So don't worry about that. If you're not in receipt of pension credit, watch on, and uh, we're going to come to come to that in a minute. Pensioners were given a grace period to make arrangements because of the health crisis, but the BBC has confirmed this will come to an end on July the 31st. The fee is set by the government, which announced in 2016 that it would rise in line with inflation for five years from April 2017. The BBC said more than 90% of over 75's households have made arrangements for a free or paid licence or updated it on changes in their circumstances. As we have now reached a situation where over 75's households are in line with the general population, the extended transition period we put in place due to the health crisis will end on the 31st of July 2021. And in line with general policy, anyone who watches or records live TV programmes on any channel or downloads or watches BBC programmes or BBC iPlayer must be covered by a TV licence. So there is an important bit coming up now which is important to pay attention to. So BBC Director General Tim Davey previously signalled that over 75s will not be threatened with legal action over non-payment. Now, it doesn't say here that they are going to pursue legal action over non-payment. All they're saying is over 75s are going to start getting the sales letters for it. They don't say there's going to be any threats of legal action here. If they're the standard letters, then yes, of course, there will be. And you can expect knocks on your door from the TV license inspectors. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute if you're new to this channel. But it doesn't clearly state here, does it, that they're going to start the legal action. They're just saying going to get letters. So I, want to, I want to find out a bit more about this. So coming up in the next weeks, I'm going to do a bit more research and try and get a statement so we, so we know. In a statement, the BBC confirmed the increase of the licence fee is equivalent to less than three pence a week and with the overall cost of the licence equating to just 43 pence a day. And that is an argument I get a lot on this on this channel. You know, People leave the comments saying it's 43p a day, get a life and just pay it. It's not the money, it's the principle, it's the way they try and make you pay for something you may not need. It's the principle, it's not the 43 pence a day, many of us out there can afford 43 pence a day, many of us out there can't. I was once in a position where I couldn't and that's what led me into this journey. But it's the principle, you feel like you're forced to pay for something that you might not need. I genuinely don't need it. And you get the stupid letters threatening you of all this and all that, and people knocking on your door demanding money with menaces. All for a TV service you may or may not require. It's not a legal requirement to have a television licence, is it? So that's my problem. It's not the 43p a day. It's the way they try and sell you a service. It's ridiculous, and it shouldn't be allowed. The BBC added, Our programmes and services have been at the heart of UK life for almost a century, and never more so than in such an unprecedented year. Each week, 91% of UK adults come to the BBC, with an average of 5 million people using our services every single minute of the day and night, across TV, radio and online. Yeah, but that's not 5 million new people per minute, that's just 5 million people a minute using the services. It could be the same 5 million people using the service for an hour going and then a different 5 million people coming on. It's not every minute of the day 5 million people are accessing your services, BBC, is you and your wording again. Now, what is the population of the UK at the minute? Sixty-six point six five million. So it's not a massive percentage, is it? So what was it? The percentage that you said there. Each week, ninety-one percent of UK adults come to the BBC. Ninety-one percent of all UK adults. That's over over sixty million people use a BBC service 
every week. I, I can't believe it. I want to see how they've come to that number. I just I don't believe a word of it. I just don't. But if you're new to this channel, the important thing to remember, if you're over 75 and you start getting these letters, is they're just trying to sell you something. Just picture them as sales letters. As they are. I've done loads of videos on them, and you'll find the links below this video to go and have a look at these scary letters. And I break them all down and show you how much nonsense it is. The other thing that could happen is you could get a visit from a TV licensing inspector. And remember, they're sales calls. These are people that are knocking on your door trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner or some pegs. You don't want it. So if you open the door and they say, hi, I'm from TV licensing, you go, no, I'm all right, thanks. And you close the door. It's that simple. There's videos below as well on how to deal with that. Do not be scared of these people. There's nothing they can do if you just say, no, I'm all right, thanks. You close the door. You don't speak to them. You don't sign nothing. And you don't worry about it. It's dead simple. So honestly, don't worry about it if you're over 75 and you don't want to pay for your TV license. You don't have to. It's not a legal requirement to have a television license. Okay, so find the links below on the things you can watch without one and how to handle everything. Go find those and I'll see you in a new video soon. Thanks for watching.